Luxatio erectu of the hip. A brief video. Inferior hip dislocation, luxatio erecta femoris, is an extremely rare clinical entity in adults. The incidence is higher in children due to the increased joint laxity and acetabulum containing a higher amount of unossified cartilage. Inferior hip dislocation, luxatio erecta femoris, is an extremely rare clinical entity in adults. The incidence is higher in children because of increased joint laxity and acetabulum of more unossified cartilage. Inferior dislocation of the hip, also known as luxatio erecta femoris or infracotyloid dislocation, is a rare injury. It is characterized by forceful and extreme flexion of the hip, with caudal displacement of the femur and dislocation of the femoral head. Inferior dislocation of the hip also called luxatio erecta femoris or infracotyloid dislocation, is the rarest type of hip dislocation with a poorly understood mechanism of injury, occurring from high energy incidents, mostly from road traffic accidents or sports. Mechanism of injury producing the rarer form of inferior ischial dislocation with femoral inversion. A. The subject falls with the hip flexed upon the torso, landing on the flexed knee. The weight of the body and the momentum of the fall is transmitted to the fixed femur. Two injury mechanisms have been defined for the development of inferior hip dislocation. According to these mechanisms, inferior hip dislocation is divided into two subgroups. In rare cases, inferior ischial dislocation and concurrent femoral inversion, the person falls on the flexed knee while the hip is in flexion. The weight of the body and the energy of the fall are transmitted to the femur. This energy is amplified by the flexion of the body. The femur head is dislocated from the inferior edge of the acetabulum. In more frequent cases, femoral inversion with concurrent anterior obturator dislocation, hip dislocation occurs with the femur abducted and externally rotated as a result of a fall or application of an external force to the femur. The femur head is dislocated inferior to the acetabulum as a result of strong abduction and external rotation and concurrent flexion toward the pelvis and the abdomen. The mechanism of the frequent form explains the cause of injury in the present patient. A 64-year-old man who was injured in a fall was brought to our emergency department, having lost his balance while harvesting avocados from the tree and falling to the ground. He complained of severe right hip and right lateral chest pain as well as the inability to move his right hip. His vital signs were within the normal limits. He held his right hip in flexion and abduction, figure 1. The limb was neurologically intact and had good distal arterial pulses. An anteroposterior radiograph of the pelvis revealed that the femoral head was dislocated inferiorly, figure. The chest CT scan revealed an ipsilateral non-displaced rib. 8 to 10, and scapular spine fractures. A CT scan of the pelvis also exhibited an empty acetabulum with no associated fractures. However, as the patient could not bring his hip into adduction, it was not possible to obtain a CT image at the level of dislocation. An anteroposterior radiograph of the pelvis revealed that the femoral head was dislocated inferiorly. The chest CT scan revealed an ipsilateral non-displaced rib and scapular spine fractures. A CT scan of the pelvis also exhibited an empty acetabulum with no associated fractures. However, as the patient could not bring his hip into adduction, it was not possible to obtain a CT image at the level of dislocation. Figure. The dislocation was reduced under sedation and fluoroscopy by manual traction in the line of deformity, initially followed by the adduction of the femur, resulting in uneventful reduction, see video 1. At the three-week follow-up, the patient was able to bear weight with a mildly antalgic gait, see video 1. The observed antalgic gait prompted us to be more conservative, thus. The patient was not allowed heavy activity and advised to use crutches with partial weight bearing.
Thanks for watching my video. Do not forget to subscribe to my non-profit channel.